again. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful and awesome holiday and are having lots and lots of fun. So I wanted to talk about something that I've been thinking about for a while because you, I've been doing a lot of thinking during quarantine. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about how important it is to have friends. So I really really love my friends because they're so cool and awesome and I love being around them because we have lots and lots of fun and it's very important you know to have good friends that will always be there for you and that will help you when you need them or you help them when they need you you know it's good to have people to talk to and have fun with but do you guys agree do you think it's important to have friends I definitely agree. I think it's very important to have someone to talk to and have fun with, you know. So I hope that you guys will have a wonderful day. And before Shulva's awesome lesson, I would like to pray for you guys. So please bow your heads. Dear Lord Jesus, bless our friends, Lord, and keep them safe and happy. Help us to find true and reliable friends, Lord, who will always be there for us and have fun with us. Thank you, Lord for the friends we have today and the friends we will make in the future. In your awesome and powerful name, Amen. Oh, it's you, Shorba. Hello. How are you guys? Great to see you again. So last week, we had a look at Easter again. And like I said, it's such an important time in our Christian calendar that I just thought we have to look at it again. And then Ross made such a special mention that I thought we should look into who really were the 12 apostles or the 12 disciples. Keep that in mind because I'm going to ask that question again. Disciples and apostles. What is the difference between a disciple and an apostle? But Ross mentioned that the 12 um, all kind of um, not betrayed, but they all turned their back on Jesus um, during Easter time. So now Easter's over, and I want us to kind of really unpack who the, who the 12 um, disciples were, and then what happened after Easter. So we're going to read our next story, um, and that is going to be Jesus chooses his 12 disciples. And these come from um, three books in the New Testament. It's in Matthew chapter 10 verses 2 to 4 as well as Mark chapter 3 verses 13 to 19 as well as uh, Luke chapter 6 verses 12 um, to 16. And we need to say a special thank you to Free Bible Images for allowing us to um, use the images for you guys to be able to see and we can be able to share um, Jesus, Jesus's life with everyone online. Okay, so let's get going. So, there were many people who became followers of Jesus and listened to his teachings. Men, women, gathered to hear what he had to say and yes even children would be there to listen to Jesus Jesus wanted uh, to teach everyone about God's love for us his followers included fishermen who he had called and even a tax collector. And sometimes the crowds became large, like very, very large. One day when Jesus needed to make a big decision, he went into the mountain all alone to pray. So do you see that Jesus would spend a lot of time with God on his own when he prayed. It's very interesting. Maybe we'll talk about that a little bit later. He went and spent a night 
talking to God. Jesus needed to decide on 12 men who would be with him all the time. Jesus needed to decide who his 12 best, best, best friends would be. So that's why he went to the mountain and to went and pray for that. It would be these 12 men who would be sent out in pairs to preach and be witnesses of his resurrection. Now remember, we just come back from Easter. And Easter is about the, crucif the crucifixion of Jesus, where he dies. But more importantly, the resurrection of Jesus. Because Jesus dying for our sins, we were sad and we're happy. But for him to prove that he is the king of all kings and that he died for our salvation and that he, he died for our sins, he had to rise again. And like he had said, he rose again, right? And so Jesus rose from the dead and he defeated death and defeated sin. So that is why they had to preach and be witness to the resurrection day. They had to say that they saw him alive, which they did. The next morning, after Jesus had prayed, he called the twelve men, and he wanted to be that he wanted him that he wanted to be his disciples. So the next morning, Jesus called the twelve men he wanted to be his disciples and apostles, and they went up to him. The word disciple means a learner or a follower. The word apostle means one who is sent out. The first four were fishermen. Jesus had invited to follow him. One was Simon who Jesus later renamed Peter, meaning rock. Jesus also chose Peter's brother, Andrew. Andrew had left John the Baptist, who became a follower of Jesus. Now you remember, John the Baptist is um, the guy who baptized Jesus. Remember the story when Jesus came into uh, to be baptized and John was the guy who was wearing the animal skin and would eat uh, locusts and honey. Yes, so Andrew was already a disciple for John the Baptist and he left John the Baptist and started following Jesus and became Jesus' disciple. The next one was James, son of Zebedee. Uh, and Jesus called him to be his disciple as well as was his brother, John. Now, Jesus nicknamed James and John the sons of thunder. I wonder why that is. Philip had been one of the, the first to follow Jesus and invited others like Bartholomew, or also known as Nathaniel, to do the same. Then obviously, Bartholomew, also known as Nathaniel, was once described by Jesus as a true Israelite in whom there is nothing false. There was also another disciple called Matthew who had left his job as a tax collector to follow Jesus. Now, tax collectors back in Jesus' times, were seen as corrupt people. It was a dirty job. So um, I would imagine a lot of people would have judged Jesus to say, how can you have a tax collector as your disciple? But Jesus did not discriminate. And he was the one who chose Matthew to follow him. Then there was Thomas who later doubted 
that Jesus was alive until he saw him and yet Jesus still chose Thomas. And then there was James, son of um, Alphas, um, Alphas, is sometimes known as James the Less. Little is really written about him in the Bible. Uh, and then there's also Simon, who was called Zelot. He may have been zealous, which is a word to describe someone who goes after something with passion and likes things being done thoroughly and properly and um, uh, thrives for excellence. Is someone who is zealous. Or it could be because he belonged to a group um, of people called zealots or people or, or what were called men of daggers uh, who wanted to get rid of Romans who had ruled the land. Then there was Theodos who was also known as Judas or Judah. Uh, the son of James. You also find this in Luke chapter 6, verse 6. And then finally, there was Judas Iscariot, who later betrayed Jesus. And those were the 12 best friends or 12 disciples that Jesus uh, chose. These men were constantly with Jesus learning what he had to teach. They traveled everywhere Jesus went and were also sent out in pairs to preach and heal and cast out demons in Jesus' name. There had also been 12 tribes that, made, that were made up the nation of Israel and Jesus chose 12 disciples. All but Ju uh, Judas Iscariot would be his apostles and leaders of the early church. So, boys and girls, now we kind of know who the 12 disciples were and how Jesus came about to choose them. Now, I just want to also remind you something. In the times of Jesus' time, rabbis would choose the best of the best, people who knew the, the Bible very well. It was really not normal or unheard of for a rabbi to go and choose what is commonly known as common men, fishermen or tax collectors and stuff like that. It would have been scholars. Scholars would have been chosen by a rabbi so that that rabbi can leave his legacy through those people. But Jesus chose common men to go and spread his word. But one thing I like most about the story or the, the choosing of his 12 disciples is that before he did such a big decision. Jesus went up to the mountain and he spent time with God on his own. So I encourage you that if you have got something that's heavy on your heart or there's something that's bothering you or there's something that you have got a big decision to make, maybe you don't know what school to go to or whatever that might be, I just encourage you to go into your bedroom on your own and you just pray to God to guide you and give you the wisdom to make the right decision just like Jesus did when he was going to choose his 12 disciples who would later become his apostles which would leave his legacy and open up the early church and spread the gospel so that we can know about him. Okay, so now that we know who the 12 disciples were and 
where the 11 apostles will be. Um, and then we'll find out a little bit later on about Paul, who also then helped a lot with growing the church, as Ross had said in the previous video. Okay. All right, boys and girls, let us pray. Lord God, thank you for your sacrifice that you did for us. Thank you, Lord, that your disciples were steadfast and they carried on the word that you had given them, Lord. Thank you that the Holy Spirit came and guided them, Lord. Thank you for all that you have done for us. And I just pray that all the young boys and girls that are watching this video, that when they need to make a decision, Lord, they may follow in your footsteps. That they may come to you, God, first and pray for your guidance and your wisdom. And that you may give them the answer that they need. And this we pray in your precious name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, boys and girls. So... Now that we know who the 12 disciples are and the 11 apostles are, what happened after Easter? What happened after Jesus ascended back to heaven? When these 12 disciples are now left on earth by themselves, what happened? So now we're going to start to unpack what happened in, into how the church started to evolve and what each of these disciples did for the church. Oh, until then, I see you soon and hopefully I'll see you at church. Okay, boys and girls. Bye.